Oh gosh, Maria, look at oh. all this. Wow. Oh, this wow. is amazing. I love it. So we used to pay in here, didn't we? No, we paid up there and then we would just come through mm. here. Yeah, there, there was a chap oh, here and he would direct you down. Maria, oh, Mick and Rosie goodness. are walking through the reconstruction site that is Cleveland Pools in Bath and down memory lane. Because and the boys used the, to push us in, push us in the pool. Oh, they would. Do that now, they? <laughs> Certainly not. It was big. It was almost like a lake, actually. Yes. I really remember it being big and to swim the whole lake. Oh, yeah. was and quite do you remember all the bits in it? It used yeah. to have oh, all yeah. the... Grotty bit. And oh, it was the leaves. freezing cold. And, and the leaves. Freezing. freezing cold. The oh, leaves. my goodness. It was Some so cold. Some people didn't like that, but I used no, to like I it. Like I didn't like it. It didn't bother me so particularly. Well, you just, yeah, you just really shoved nice. it out of the way, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I remember coming here when I was a schoolgirl, sunbathing, and it was just a wonderful place to come. It was delightful. It was like going on holiday. Hmm. It was busy, um, and it was just fun. My father used to come here, and he would... Um, actually swim across the river and jump over the fence to get in and his grandfather did the same mm. so i came and then we mm. came and then our children okay. uh, have come yes. here mm. and now hopefully our grandchildren will absolutely so yes, it's a whole yes. oh, yes. generations of um, of local people yes. using it they're it's all wonderful looking forward here. to it the history of the site predates living memory by a long way first built in 1815 to save the blushes of local people as men insisted on skinny dipping in the River Avon. Swimmers finally hung up their bathing suits in the 1980s as it closed and fell into disrepair. Since then, a handful of campaigners have been battling to save the pools, and now that ambition, that dream, is about to be realised. If you value heritage, sure, there's something here for you, but also if you value swimming or being outdoors in green space and the impact that can have on people's well-being, um, sustainability, you know, we're running a whole energy project. If you're into natural and architectural beauty, there's, there's something here I hope for everybody and I'm hoping that that's why people will be keen to support us as we get towards the end of the project. The vast majority of the restoration has been paid for by the Heritage Lottery Fund with a £6 million grant, but the crowdfunding is continuing. An army of volunteers has been recruited. One of them, Matt, has lent his graphic design expertise, part of a community effort that he hopes will ensure success. I came here when it felt dilapidated and kind of a bit run down. Um, even then it had something, some, something about it felt kind of beautiful and, and to see it kind of coming to life now, it's really special. Being situated right on the banks of the River Avon comes with challenges. Apart from the fact of reconstructing, rebuilding the pools, a Georgian building in a world heritage city, there's also the small aspect that there's no road access to the site. Every single item of building material has to be brought in by boat. But the river also provides opportunities. So this is the pool within the pool, as it were, and originally the river water used to be the water for the pool, is that right? That's correct, yeah, it used to be fed by the river. Yeah, and, and what's nice about that now, although we can't do that these days, it has to be fed with natural clean water yeah. and be chlorinated and, and treated. Um, we're actually extracting the water from the river, passing it through heat exchangers and using that heat from the river water to heat this new pool. Clever. So it's really clever equipment. Yeah, I don't think there's any other pool in the um, in UK um, which yeah. has been heated by river water. All being well, Cleveland pools will reopen in the summer to become, at the same time, both Britain's oldest and newest Lido. A city renowned for the appeal of its waters since Roman times is about to enter a new chapter in its illustrious bathing history. John Maguire, BBC News, Bath.